The idea of firing up the grill outside, maybe not too appealing when it's cold. Maybe you like it because then you're like, hey, that's nice. Anyway, Chef Kayla Robinson from Arnold's Bar and Grill is here to show us how to make one of the tastiest indoor burgers you'll ever want to sink your teeth into. And we were talking about some of the issues with doing a burger inside or not necessarily on a grill. Yes. But it can be done in a skillet and done well. It absolutely can be. So my personal favorite is a cast iron skillet. Yeah. Right? So those are my favorites. But there's some folks who have flat tops like this who sure. can't necessarily use a cast iron. Right. So a nonstick skillet is going to be your best go-to. Okay. All right. And make sure you have some ventilation because obviously there's going to be a little burger grease and some smoke. So right. just you're, lift you're, up the windows. You're popping. You're good all that to stuff. go. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's talk super important. Blends of beef. A lot of folks do 80 20. Okay. Fat is flavor. All right. Amen. We Preach need it. a little bit more fat. So all do of it. like lean a little on that 70 30 blend, 75 25 blend. That's your um, going to be the most flavor. Do you see what you did there? You said lean on 70 oh, 30. Oh, you? So you didn't, are even, so you didn't good even know. At that. No, that was you. You did that. <laughs> I was just here for it. Just built in for dad jokes, you know? <laughs> all right. So here's another important tip, okay? Put your finger in the center, okay, and that helps it. Yep, there you go. Have an indent in there so that it doesn't like it? fall what? up as a meatball. It evenly oh. cooks it. Okay. I know. It's I've never, magic. I've never done. Well, and I've seen people though literally put it on the grill, um, not quite in a ball, but yeah, close to a ball. Yeah, and then they kind of smash it. Yeah. Okay. I'm an anti-smasher. Anti-smasher. All right. Pro. Unless we're, we're smashing wine or beer, <laughs> we're not smashing the meat. Okay. We. I just think it really like takes out all that juice. All right. So when you're smashing it, so, all the juice is So better away. to be sort of pre-flattened before it hits the heat and yes. then get, you, get your thumb right there in the now, middle of it. Now, of course, the smash burgers are super popular. We sure. all know them. We all love them. They're tasty, right? Right. But I like a lot of juice. I like juice almost oh. dripping. Yep. Yeah. Do it. So yep. I like the fattier blend, a little salt, pepper. Okay. okay? Make sure Sprinkle you don't it. use the iodized salt. We don't want no table salt up in here. Don't okay? do that. We Why want would the you do good that? kosher salt. Yep. Okay. So I also like to throw in some sautéed onions. You can or you can't. I like a little sautéed onion on mine. Do you ever do the thing where you blend anything into the meat? Do you know what I mean? Like yes. you, you, whether it be you know, bits of onion or whatever so else. So if I do a smash burger, because right. sometimes I really do like smash burger, I'll cut my onions super thin. Okay. I'll like cover my um, skillet with the onions, and yeah. then I'll put the burger on it and cook the burger into the onions, so that the onions are literally into in the burger. Part of it. Yeah, okay. it's okay. really great. So uh, you just want, you kind of see how it's starting to ball up. Yep. If that didn't have that indent in there, if you guys can kind of see, yeah. if the indent wasn't in there, it would straight up be, we got meatloaf working. It would like, just get rolled. Like it's so big gotcha. or a meatball. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use, now I forgot my spatula, so I'm using your guys' grill spatula. That's all right. But we wanna, now this We time, only have the jankiest stuff <laughs> up here, you know, here for you to use. So. Well, if you use a spatula on a non -sit non-stick skillet please use a rubber or a wood one not metal okay, okay? Good. that's the trick good, okay good tip all right so another really important part is toasting our bun right a yeah. good quality bun i love brioche I, like a buns. I like i like a buttery i like a buttery yeah, bun buttery buns are great yeah, yeah. all right so um i like to toast them now a little trick on how to make the perfect toasted bun and grilled cheese okay is mayo slather some mayo on it and just throw it into your skillet like you would Really? Making, yeah, like you okay. would butter for grilled cheese, use mayo. mayo. I promise you folks, you're going to love it. Okay. It's my grandma's trick. Done. That's what you do. Okay. Grandma's trick. So we good. want really good quality pickles. Are you a pickle fan? Love pickles. Oh, try these pickles. I will try This it. is what we serve at the restaurant. I'm super, yep. super picky about my pickles. Mm -hmm. Aren't they delicious? Got some bite, got the crunch. Yeah. Let's go. So we got this nice American cheese, not American burger without the American cheese, do it. right? Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and check this guy. Flip them over. Perfect. So when I do flip is about the time that I want my cheese to go on there so it's nice juicy kind of oozes over but you don't you don't re-salt and pepper the other side I don't before re, you nope. cheese i heavily season just one side just one side just okay. one side yep. okay good. all right so this is like my fancy sauce this is my arnold sauce okay what's in the are you even maybe you're not allowed Ooh, to tell us what's in the fancy sauce i will tell you i will tell you okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> This, so, this is it. This is the very important moment important, that's about to folks. happen. Grab your notes. Okay, okay so here we go. got one cup mayo, yeah. half a cup ke ketchup, yeah. a quarter of a cup mustard, All right. All right. two tablespoons of pickle juice, Okay. Oh. one tablespoon of garlic powder or fresh garlic, uh -huh. and uh, one tablespoon of some heat. So Tabasco, sriracha, anything that's spicy. And is, it won't be too spicy. What kind of mustard do you use? 
Uh, just like a the, just, just like a regular yellow regular mustard yellow or like mustard. a brown yellow. Yep. Okay. You know, brown would probably be great too. Okay. So we got the sautéed onions Boom. on there and just top it. And folks, Done. that That's, is the perfect. That burger is ready. To, house burger. Ready to go. I know. So it's my absolute favorite. Just make sure again you see how this is kind of working. Yep. I like to do two quarter size patties. Okay. Okay. So about four ounces each. Yep. Um, and then you just kind of stack them. Right. I'm trying to be so careful I don't ruin my beautiful nonstick skillet. <laughs> you just, and then you're clear. You're right fine. there. Now it's really important to rest your burgers. No different than you would a steak. Reason why is because it's a good quality beef. All right, I get my meat from Aver Blaze. Okay. I get it for my restaurant. I get yeah. it for at home. So you want to rest your beef. What, what do you mean? I don't, I don't even know when you say just rest. What does that mean? Just to rest it? It's just, just it's going to take a little nap. Stretch. It's napping. Just you chill. see, so you see all that good. yummy yeah, juice. All the juice. Yep. Now it's going to soak it right back in, just like a steak. No. Right? It will. Just it's, right back. Okay. It's almost going to be gone. Didn't just, know that. Yeah. And okay. Just wait a little bit, and you don't want a soggy bun either. No. Right? We don't want soggy. No. Buns. Who would want that? No soggy buns. We want nope. Nice, firm buns. And, uh, and <laughs> Sorry. I've always, been a, I've always, so. always been a fan. <laughs> that looks great. That's a good burger. Yep. They just told me I should probably wrap now, so I'm going to do that. Again. It's always great to see it. It's 9:53. We'll be right back.